I probably just let the wind take her from here. We're going downwind, just right off my port bow is the mooring I want to pick up. Um, it's got a pickup stick on it. If I miss it, there's another mooring behind it. Beautiful, peaceful morning. Except for some guy's got a chainsaw going. Probably saw it on firewood. Uh, this wind, we might be coming in a little fast here. You just don't miss that pickup. Bit of candy just in case we miss here. Ahoy everybody, it is Tuesday the 21st of November 2023 and we're here in the beautiful Hadley's Harbor and the cormorant right there, the ferry. That was, uh, when I was here a few weeks ago, that wasn't running. That was out for its uh, annual haul out and Coast Guard inspection. That's back in and running. And they also put a few of these moorings in. Um, so I just moved over. I just moved over onto one of these moorings uh, about 10 minutes ago, which is good because the breeze is coming in now. And the reason I did that is because... Uh, we got a pretty big storm coming. Um, it's going to start uh, overnight tonight. And it uh, looks like by morning we're looking at uh, southeast, basically 30 gusting 45 knots rain. Uh, the only good news is it's going to be a bit warmer. Last night was cold. And uh, I, I burned through some kerosene last night keeping the cabin warm, even though I turned the heater off before I went to sleep. Um, I never leave the heater running overnight. Uh, just because I'm afraid by the time I something goes wrong by the time I wake up. It might be too late. I've already been cremated um, So as far as windows to Bermuda Now right after the storm on uh, Thursday is a semi possibility But I'm ruling that out just because uh, I want to go over to Vineyard Haven to restock because uh, I've been out for about four days now. It's always nice to be freshly provisioned right before you leave. Um, and the other issue is, get this. Uh, while I was in Canada, I used too much of my international data with my T-Mobile phone, even though I have the unlimited plan. And uh, so they are going to block my international uh, coverage uh, November 30th. And the only way... I can possibly get them to unblock it is to send them, that's why I say get this, send them a handwritten letter requesting them to do so. Uh, so, in Thursday's Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to be able to mail it till Friday when I get to Vineyard Haven. And uh, so I guess I'll send it priority mail. And there's still no guarantee it's not going to get blocked and I'm going to lose my international, uh, which means that uh, I'm not going to have any cell in Bermuda unless I get a local SIM card. Um, so that's all kind of really annoying, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, so the plan is to, uh, is to sail over to Vineyard Haven on Thursday. And, uh, according to the European model, there's a possible window opening up Sunday, Monday, somewhere around there. So that's the one I'm watching. And, uh, it's about 200 miles to the Gulf Stream. So, uh, usually it's the first couple days of this passage is the worst, typically. Uh, usually it's blustery and cold and, and miserable. But once you get to the other side of the Gulf Stream, at least it gets warmer then. Uh, the temperature should be in the 50s and 60s instead of in the 30s and 40s. So, anyway, but uh, we're, we're hanging here. We're, we're going to be here for at least another 24 hours until this storm blows over. And off the south coast of New England and Long Island, at Buzzard's Bay Tower, wind southeast at 37 knots, gusting to 42 knots.
at Long Island Buoy. Seas were 10 feet, and the water temperature was 57 degrees. Oh, boy. Well, at least it should be peaking right now, according to the weather models. Um, these gusts. Look at this. God, this is just crazy. And I mean, this this is about as sheltered a spot. So I just rode in and tied a fender onto the mooring I plan to pick up. Make the pickup a little easier. Plus it's the last row out. So that also makes it easier. If you miss, you can just fall away and sail around. I just gotta watch out for these fairies going in and out. During the summer months, this mooring field inside the break wall in Vineyard Haven is virtually impossible to negotiate under sail. But now in late November, there's ample room to maneuver. Though it's still a challenge sailing up to a mooring, knowing when to helm down and shoot her up into the wind so she'll more or less stop at the mooring. And of course, you always got to have a contingency plan in case you miss how much room you have on either side to fall away on attack and gather speed and try again. It got down to freezing last night. I got ice in my water jugs. So it's Tuesday, the 28th of November, 2023, and it looks like still the best time to take off for Bermuda's this afternoon. Um, and essentially, uh, because uh, one is I have to wait for fair current in Vineyard Sound right here. Zoom that in a little more. Because uh, this this current this current runs about two knots through Vineyard Sound, and so you don't want to be fighting it. So it turns in my favor around noon. So I think the best time to leave is probably around two thirty this afternoon, right after they up, update this latest grib. And uh, I have my Iridium Go uh, subscription activated, so I'll be able to update gribs offshore as well. But it's always nice to have that freshest grip right before you leave. Uh, that final weather briefing. Um, so, so we start off around, so around 2.30. And uh, we got west-northwest about 16 knots. And we work our way down uh, Vineyard Sound. We got about 17 knots. And uh, so we get down here. And, uh, oops, wait a minute, didn't want to do that. And we, we got, uh, we got northwest winds, lower 20s. And, uh, and as we get down here, and it's going to get brisk. Now, now we basically have a light gale, 20, 25 to 35 knots. Um, So, and then as we get toward morning, eh, pretty much the same, yeah, this is midnight. As we get toward morning, though, then it, then it begins easing up, thankfully. So around 4 in the morning, we're back down to about 20 to 30. And then by 7 in the morning, uh, well, let's zoom out a little bit here. 
This is where the routers got our boat. By 7 in the morning, we're down to about 18 knots, so that's almost getting to be nice sailing. And by noon, zoom in a little more. Uh, noon, we're down to 16 knots, so now beam reaching. So now, now we got nice sailing. And uh, so as we jog along here, uh, let's get uh, uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. So we're somewhere around here. Uh, again, we got about you know, 15 to 20 knots. Still got about 15 to 20 knots. Um, and then Thursday, Thursday night into Friday. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of light wind there. So we'll take it a little bit of a respite. And then depending on how far we get along here, uh, we're going to have southwest at 20, and kind of 10 to 20, southwest. Oh, I see. This is why the router is taking us far west, so we can continue to beam reach in these southwesterlies. And uh, if we can keep moving, we'll, we'll stay out of these. I see. We, we got this front. We'll stay out of these strong winds. But even still, that's not terribly strong. You know, the front is, you know, you're going to get 25, 35, it looks like at most. And we're basically going to follow that front. And then hopefully, if all goes according to plan, we'll get in Sunday. And we'll, we'll have southwest about 15 knots Sunday. Woo, that's really going to pick up Sunday. Um, hopefully we'll be in Sunday. And then we got another one. If not, we weather that one and then get into Bermuda on Tuesday. Oh, date November 28, 2023. Departure Port Vineyard Haven, Mass, Bermuda. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month.